court is now in session. All right, let me look at my caseload tonight. All right, first up, something that's got TikTok all in an uproar and now has infiltrated Instagram. It goes with that saying, if it seems too good to be true, everybody, it simply is not. Chase Bank scam, you know, Chase Bank is the largest bank in the United States of America. And for some reason, there was a campaign going on on TikTok that they were giving away unlimited money for free. Chase customers who wrote, actually, Chase customers did not get free money. They actually wrote bad checks to themselves for obscene amounts of money, deposited, and then quickly withdrew it. Attorney Shaton Turner, talk to us about this. What they, what, what were they calling it? They were calling it, uh, forgot what they were calling it. So, oh, a glitch. They were saying it was a glitch, but in fact, it was not. Shaton Turner, please share with us how legally you could get into a lot of trouble if you participated in this particular scam. A glitch by any other name is just stealing. And so, <laughs> yeah, so some people just started doing some stuff and they went on TikTok and told other people about it like it was legal and it was just a mistake. So one of the morals is don't do everything that everybody else is doing because you might go to jail. Hopefully your grandmother told you that at some point. So there is a way through the ATM system that you make a deposit and the bank will credit you the amount of that deposit if you immediately take it out because it's too soon for it to be reconciled. And somehow some Gen Zers, right, who were born two minutes ago thought that they had discovered <laughs> water, right? And so they started telling everybody that they had done it. And it's really only worthwhile, I suppose, like as an officer of the court, I don't encourage people to steal, but if, for example, you were in Miami, and you wanted to ball out of control, and you went to the ATM at 11.30 on Saturday night and took out an obscene amount of money that you didn't have, and then you just made it rain all over Ocean Drive. Like, it could be a lot of fun, but eventually, come Monday, when they reconcile everything, you are going to have to pay it back because the bank's, your relationship with the bank is contingent upon two things. One is you give them money, and the second one is you abide by their rules. And their rules in the contract that you signed to open the account say that if there's a mistake, then you have to pay it back. So all these people who thought they got over and they just hit the lottery, it's just a matter of time before they personally are going to have to give that money back. So like I said, it's only a party. What's that, what's that saying? It's no fun if the homies can't have none. It's <laughs> only party, right? If you have the money to pay it back, because if you don't, then you're just going to be up the creek without a paddle. Okay, Simone, let's go to you real quick, because I think we talked about this one time before in the court of public opinion. I want to get your opinion on this, because I can say, listen, 20 years ago, I did something very similar. Yep, I sure did. What I did was I had a couple of checks that I, I deposited into the bank. In one check, I deposited from my own account, and I said I wanted to deposit $2,000 more than I knew that I had. However, when I deposited into bank at that time, the, the bank gave me credit for 80% of all the checks that I had deposited, and then I withdrew accordingly. Now, this is the deal. In my case, when it did reconcile, it just threw my account into a negative, right? As long as I covered that negative, wouldn't that be legal? Or is what I did still considered fraud and possibly money laundering? You're on mute, beautiful. You're on mute. There you go. All right. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. So the law generally sees those things that you describe. It's generally seen as a mistake, an honest mistake, right? People overdraft their bank accounts all the time. And the law in America is that we're not a debtor's prison. In other words, you're not supposed to be arrested for simply being poor, for not having enough money. But here... The problem now is that this glitch, these actions are now intentional. In other words, this is intentional theft. So what you're talking about, the most you would get was like a bounce check charge, right? A bounce right. check fee. And then you'd be overdrafted. And you couldn't get another bank account with anyone else until you made right on it. But you wouldn't go to jail for that. But 
Okay. Because this glitch is as popular as it is, and now they could be able to prove, as in the criminal courts could be able to prove intent. Um, in those instances, especially, for example, people who then go to social media and flex like, hey, it worked. I did it. It worked. Oh, y'all going to jail. You're going to jail today. <laughs> you're, you're going to jail, one, because you're stupid, and two, because you're a thief. <laughs> Attorney Ross, what you got to add to this? You're the and, and for those of you who are out there committing this fraud, I want to leave this with you. If you want to get off, call Brian Ross. Because <laughs> you're going to get arrested. Okay? It's going to happen. Wait a minute. If you want to get off, what? You want to get off? Call Brian Ross. Okay? I love it. Excellent. I was, I was at Clark Atlanta and I wrote a check one time. Sandra, but you know, you, you might want to be mindful of that, or your wife should if you start telling that to everybody. <laughs> it's, 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 out, it's, out, it's out there. It's marketed. I'm charging two cents every time somebody say it, okay? It's out there. But you can't do it. There's no free money, people. Take it from me. Especially Chase Bank. They're going to find you. And what blows your mind is you don't even go to an ATM where no one is at. You go to the one where they waiting in line. Okay? <laughs> so you, and, then you, and then you're on TikTok like, I made it rain. Look, look at me. Yeah, look at you. <laughs> so Right, which is oh basically evidence that you committed Exhibit fraud. A. Right. right. Exhibit right. A. <laughs> All right, everybody. Don't forget. Don't forget. Throw those uh, wine emojis in the chat for Simone Redwine. Don't forget those fire emojis for the fiery civil attorney Shatan Turner, and those briefcase emojis for Brian, the criminal defense attorney Brian Ross. And don't forget me. Throw in those fax machines for the fax guy who's bringing you all the facts. Next up, Donald Trump. Welcome back to the court of public opinion. And then 